Boy dinner. What is this? Name? Tell us, chef. <laughs> what is it? It's a cinnamon raisin bagel with avocado, mustard, a bunch of what is it? Vegetables. And then it's a Beyond Burger, and we have a side of chip. That's boy dinner. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited for the May reset video. If you don't know me, my name is Gabby and I love to talk personal finance. I love doing monthly reset videos. So if you're into that, you should subscribe and join the fam. And I think we should get into it because I have a lot to cover today. It's finally a beautiful sunny day here in Vancouver. It was just nasty all weekend. I'm very glad to see some sun. Also, there is some stuff here. We are in the middle of a redo for the office and also the patio refresh. So we are still putting up some shelves and stuff like that. And I will be doing a video on the refreshes. So keep an eye out for that in the month of May, a super exciting video, but let's get into the monthly reset. If you missed it, my monthly money reset video is gonna be the video that is uploaded just before this one. I will tag it in the cards up here. Um, I decided to split the two videos videos up just because I had a lot to talk about in both of the videos but today we will be covering more so like favorites reflections on the month things like that and then after that we will go through some items I bought this month as well at the very end I have revamped my monthly reset notion tab a little bit I will reflect it on the screen for you guys so you can see it but I refreshed it a little bit I thought it needed just a little zhuzhing a tiny little update. So what were my monthly wins? And this month I have to say my monthly win was definitely YouTube. Um, my channel popped off a little bit with my financial journey video. It got a lot of traction. I got a lot more subscribers in a short time frame and a lot more views and I was able to get fully monetized on YouTube, which is such a crazy thing. I can't believe I'm saying that because that was a goal for the whole year. That was like something I thought I would barely be able to reach. So I'm just really, really grateful and so excited for that accomplishment. That is so exciting. And I just feel like I'm really getting the groove of YouTube. I think this is something I'm working on and trying to get better at and I think it's paying off and I'm very grateful for every single one of you that chooses to watch my videos and yes so that was definitely a huge win I am very proud and excited for the future what lessons did I learn I wrote a novel here <laughs> Okay, so first lesson is I want to read more. It is something I want to do. It's a goal. It's something I enjoy. I love reading. I just don't make it easy on myself. I don't give myself the time or the space to do so. And I definitely feel like I have been choosing my phone and scrolling on my phone instead of reading when I normally read. I need to make sure that like what I'm doing day to day aligns with what I want to be doing and I'm not wasting my life on my phone. So that was a lesson I learned. Discipline and willpower are not an unlimited resource. So this is definitely something that's kind of been on my mind ever since uh, half marathon training has gotten a lot more intense. If you guys are not aware or if you're a new viewer, I am running a half marathon in less than a week. I'm very excited, but I have definitely noticed that as those runs are getting longer and as I have to use more willpower and more discipline to go out for a 22 kilometer run, I have less of that willpower and discipline to dedicate to other facets of my life. So things that used to be really easy for me are becoming more difficult, like things that I have to flex discipline with. As I mentioned, I've been really bad with my phone and I think that that is just because I am kind of on autopilot for a lot of the hours outside of the day, especially on the days when I'm doing those long runs. It's harder for me to go grocery shopping. It's harder for me to be organized, to use my planner. I've just noticed that as the marathon training gets more and more intense, I just don't have the same bandwidth. And I'm trying not to beat myself up over that because this is a temporary goal. This is something that I knew was gonna take more effort and more discipline than I have for other things. I am just trying to be mindful that it's okay that I am delivering things and not doing all of my errands myself. Uh, it's okay that I'm not reading as much. I obviously want to keep an eye out on these things and be aware of them, but I am aware that 
I don't have the bandwidth to do everything all the time. I'm just trying to be a little kinder to myself because of that. And you know, in a week, I will have a lot more time on my hands. I definitely don't wanna lose my ability to long distance run, but I will not be going for 18, 20 kilometer runs on my weekends unless I'm just up for a little challenge. You know, it's just, it's a lot of energy. It's a lot of output. And I find those days that I do those long runs, I really can't get much else done. And I've been trying to do it where I stack all of my hap, like all of my errands at the beginning of the day and then I do my run, but then I don't have enough energy to do the run. And like I did a long run yesterday after doing a full day of errands. It was such a mental struggle. Like I was, that is something I'm just like, it's a lesson I learned this month that I'm trying to be aware of. Third lesson, if you are at an appointment and you just so happen to get numbing cream in your eye, stop everything and wash it out immediately. It doesn't matter how uncomfortable it is to ask the practitioner to remove the numbing cream. It doesn't matter if you have to swap your appointment, just do it. It's not worth it to just be nice and quiet like I like to be sometimes. Just speak up and uh, wash it out. If you're new here, this is a very specific lesson. I think I actually will include a clip from the day that it happened just cause I kind of cover this full story. I'm I'm gonna keep the full clip for my microneedling video, which is coming at the end of May, maybe early June, but I think I will include a little portion of the video because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm hurting so bad. I'm gonna talk with my eyes closed because I can't open them right now. I just got my second microneedling done. I so apologize for this, but I am just keeping it so real right now. I lie down and she is putting on the numbing cream. Some way, somehow, that numbing cream got into my eye. I opened my eye and I was like, oh, it like immediately stung. And I was like, oh dear, um, I think there's numbing cream in my eye. And she was like, okay, just lie down, try not to like open it and cry because then you'll cry away all the numbing cream. And she just like helped me blot at my eye a little bit. But obviously I had numbing cream all over my face it didn't really make much sense for me to go and try to like wash my eye out at that moment she also washed my face just before this so I thought okay it could also just be the cleanser I just lied there with my eyes closed kind of like this for a little bit and I was trying to open them and she gave me some q-tips and I was like blotting at the inside corners of my eyes and it is getting progressively worse guys like it started to be like impossible for me to open my eyes and I was like oh god can you even get numbing cream in your eye what are the side effects of that like is that even allowed should I be like at a pee PPE station like rinsing my eyes out right now like I don't really know she was really chill with it so I kind of was like whatever I guess it's fine she leaves the room I'm sitting there for 30 minutes with numbing cream on my face and I start googling numbing cream and eye lidocaine and eye and all the results are bad it's like you need to rinse your eye out immediately I was like oh my god i'm lying here with it in my eye still <laughs> as i was sitting there i started to get blurred vision i wasn't able to focus on anything i couldn't look at my screen she came back she took off all the numbing cream cleansed my face and then she sent me to the bathroom to go rinse my eyes out and that felt amazing i just sat in the bathroom rinsing my eyes out for like 10 minutes because they stung so bad and i was just hoping to clear everything out but it was also in my eye for 30 minutes at this point. I still have blurred vision. I'm hardly able to walk around the goddamn place. My vision is so blurred and I'm like, what the f how am I gonna get home? How am I gonna drive myself home? How am I gonna work the remainder of my work shift? So I'm f just kind of losing it. And then I have to go back and lie in this chair and get micro needling done. <laughs> It is completely painless in some regions where the, the numbing cream is working really well. And then it goes all the way up to like a five, six-ish in some areas. But I will just note that it is also an uncomfortable procedure. She is pressing with pretty hard pressure with a bunch of needles moving in circles. There's like this unsavory sound with it. It sounds like she's putting a f drill to my face and then on top of that my eyes are burning i'm lying there just like thinking about all these f problems i'm gonna have after this appointment's done so that whole microneedling experience was actually f up <laughs> oh, let's see if my eyes feel better they don't with all things noted i was just having like sensory overload and it just sucked yeah it was not fun yes that happened and that is a lesson i learned and sometimes being nice is not worth it is all i'm gonna say Something new I did this month. So I got monetized. That is definitely new on YouTube. So that is exciting. And I ran a half marathon. So I haven't actually run the half marathon that I 
wanted to run yet, like the race, but I did run a 22 kilometer long run. So I have officially ran a half marathon distance. What was my favorite memory of the month? I went for a disco night with my girlfriends and that was so fun. It was just a really fun night. Nice to see them. I don't see them all that often. So very nice time there to live for. If you saw my mid-month check-in, I went to a bakery that's owned by Erin Ireland. It's a vegan bakery and I've been wanting to go for a while and they had breakfast sandwich. It's like on a croissant, a vegan croissant and I, I went twice this month because it was just so good. And those were definitely highlights of my month. And yeah, just relaxing with my little fam, me and my boyfriend and my cat. Lots of chilling, lots of relaxing, recovering from our long runs. David, my boyfriend is also running the half with me. So yeah, it's just been a nice time to enjoy hanging out, chilling in our little space and being together. What habits will I carry forward? Using my planner. So I definitely fell off the wagon of using my planner. I think ever since my vacation, I haven't been that good with it. And then I also didn't really set up a nice theme for April. I wasn't that excited by it. I was just kind of going through the motions because I use my planner monthly, but I really noticed that my habits are very much tied to using that planner. And when I fall off of using the planner, I don't really do my habits. My planner is definitely key in making sure I get done what I intend to get done. Another little habit that I will carry forward. Let's dive into <laughs> books. So unfortunately, I don't have a lot to update here for books. And that is because my goal for the month was to read two books and I read zero. I read zero. I am still finishing House of Flame and Shadow. I mean, I should have maybe been a little bit kinder to myself. Yeah, I might've been a little bit kinder to myself and chosen two different books than this book to finish. I'm on page 567, I think it took over 800 pages. So I feel like I've read two books. <laughs> I just chose the biggest book in the world and I am a slow reader, unfortunately. So this book is on the docket to finish. I am enjoying it and I do think that I have been reading it and like fully absorbing everything that's going on. So I feel like I'm not just like trying to fly through it and barely absorb anything. The beginning of the book was amazing. I was so hyped and then it's kind of gotten a little slow drawn out in the middle, but I think that's pretty standard for Sarah J Maas and she usually hits you with an intense end of book so I'm excited for the end of that book. I currently have it rated as a four star. We'll see if she can get me up to a four and a half. I doubt it's gonna be five. Yeah I'm excited to finish that book. Now we get to do monthly favorites so I'm actually gonna do a bit of a recap of everything that I bought because a lot of the stuff that I bought this month is also a favorite of mine. So the Sephora savings event was this month. I like to buy basically everything from Sephora during the savings events. I don't buy between the events. I just stock up during the events. So everything that I kind of need or want, I just put it in my cart and I hold out as long as I possibly can until these events come up. So I have a few items here. So first off for hair, I only got one item and that is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. And I absolutely love everything that this company's the Living Proof brand just because it smells so good. I am a, a person where you could absolutely get me on smells alone, even if the product is like not the best product ever, as long as it smells good. That's like partially why I use Oribe products is I'm like addicted to the smell of Oribe products. But this on top of that also works really, really well and you don't need much at all. And it never really gives you that like coarse gritty feel. I used to use, um, the Batiste dry shampoo, the drugstore one. Like that gets rid of the greasy look, but your hair feels like shit afterwards. So I'm really glad that this one from Sephora is a little bit higher quality and I feel like has a better overall vibe. Next up is the House Labs uh, blush in the shade French Rosette. I still have this in the package because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it or not. I am going to keep it, but it is just very similar to a lot of other shades that I have. And I guess I just gravitate to the same sorts of shades, but it's an amazing pink, a little bit of peach in there, but it's like mainly pink, kind of rosy. And I actually love this for keeping on my blush. I find if I layer a liquid blush and then put a little bit of this on top, it just stays exactly how I want it the full day. Whereas like the liquid blush seems to like fade off. So I actually do really love this and it just goes on seamlessly. It's beautiful. I am going to keep it. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I was like, nah, it looks the same as all my other blushes, but that's because I know what I like. So yeah. 
And then also from House Labs, I was a big House Labs fan this month, but this is the um, Triclone, I don't know, the, so, something Triclone concealer. It's like their very popular one. And this works so, so good under your eyes and also to cover spots. I usually like different concealers for different things. Like I usually like a little bit different underneath my eyes and then a little bit different for like spot cover up. But this looks amazing for both. And I just love the like, the way it sits on your face. It's just stunning. After that, I got the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. This has been so popular online. I've seen it everywhere. And this is in the brown, black brown shade. And it's actually way more brown than I expected it. It's like very brown in person. So I'm very happy that it's more brown than it is black. I thought it might be hard to tell, but I used to be like die hard, Bobbi Brown, smoky eye mascara girl. It, that is still one of my favorite mascaras. I'm wearing that one today, but I do love this for a brown because the Bobbi Brown doesn't have the brown. And this one's also almost as good, maybe as good. I've only used it a couple times and it's $28 versus like 47 or something crazy. So I think this is like a new, it's got me converted, I think, because the price is right. And then lastly from Sephora, let me just clean this off. I don't wanna show you a dirty product. I got the Sol de Janeiro. This is the Delicia Drench Body Butter. So this is the purple one. This is the one that got popular on TikTok because I think ants are attracted to it. And I just can't with this smell. It is, oh, it is so good. I mean, like all their smells are amazing. I'm also obsessed with the, the red one as well, the Kirosa or whatever it is. But this is just, it's divine. So I had to buy it and yeah. I already had a sample of this one and I just, I kind of knew that I wanted the big version because I used the sample so sparingly because I don't want to like waste it. Okay, clothes, items I bought this month. You would have seen me wear this. Oh my God, the tag's still on. I actually have this thing where I like to keep the tags on my thrift store items if it's not something that like, you know, is visible as a nice reminder of like how little I paid for such a like high quality, amazing item that I wear all the time. I have this one jacket that I've had for like three years and I wear all the time and I look at it and it says like, I paid like 32 bucks or something. And I'm like, wow, that's actually such a good price. I don't know why, <laughs> weird quirk about me, but this is a blazer. I showed this in my mid-month check-in. It is just, the color is something else. I just love this shade of blue. I, I don't know if anyone's been like obsessed or aware of the, all the color analysis stuff going on online. I feel like I've been inundated with so much color analysis stuff and I'm definitely like an autumn. I'm definitely like warm. My skin goes orange in the summer, but I kind of for a while thought that it, that meant I couldn't pull off like blues or anything cool tone. But this is like, I think the shade of blue that's more warm tone that suits me. It's like a muted, shade of blue like where it's like a baby blue is not gonna look good on me but this so happy with this i feel like this is definitely from the 90s it's the it's a bellesa 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 brand it's made in canada it's definitely from the 90s like you don't see tailored jackets like this anymore similarly from that same video let me get all my cat's hair off of this this is a blue button-up i bought um, on the same day, it's an Izod button up and I just wanted a couple more button ups for the summer. I like these to just switch up my closet. They're usually like, what is this? This was $9 and I had 20% off. So I only paid probably like seven bucks. And I love just switching things up with a, like an easy new button up. And then if I get sick of the old ones, I just donate them. And like, you can rotate these in and out of your closet so easily. And they're just fun. And I throw them over swimsuits. I throw them over everything. I wear them to work. I button them up. I wear them as a jacket. They're so multi-purpose and I'm obsessed. This blue, for example, might not be my, oh, actually no, it's a good blue. I don't know. Color analysis out there, let me know. Next item. So this was something I bought at the beginning of April and I will insert a photo of me wearing it, but I found this little outfit and I was obsessed with it. So I found this little button up sleeveless shirt. It has a little collar and it is so cute. I just thought it was so unique. And you know, when you find like a used item and you're like, if I pass up on this, I'm probably gonna think about it. I just knew that if I walked away from this, I was probably just gonna think about it. Like the ribbing on it is amazing. The buttons, I just, 
just love finding pieces like this that are trendy. Like I feel like you could find something like this at Aritzia, something similar-ish, but you know, it's unique. It's well-made, it's sustainable. You can't go wrong. So that is the top. And then I found a skirt. So this is a Liz Claiborne. I believe these were pants. Like I was looking at the way that this is made and I believe these were a pair of pants that somebody made into a skirt. And I think they also got it tailored to their waist because this fits me like a glove. Like it is perfectly tight around my waist and it has a perfect amount of like width for my hips and butt. And I just never find things that fit me like that. Like it must be tailored. And then it has this split down the front. So I think that's where the pants were. And you can see like the way that it was made. I'm like almost a thousand percent sure this was a pair of pants beforehand. And yeah, I feel like this is so trendy, like these long skirts with the little slits at the front. This is like my little cargo version that I found at the thrift store. So I'm so happy with this and I've already worn it like four times, something crazy like that. So those were all of the clothing items I picked up this month and beauty items. Next up for TV, my favorite TV show. We really only watch like one TV show really, um, but we did True Detective, the season four, the one with Jodie Foster, and I absolutely loved it. It was so good. I have never seen True Detective before. My boyfriend was like ride or die for seasons one and two, and he has been trying to get me to watch those seasons for a really long time, but we ended up watching a season that we neither of us had seen. It's a show where every season is a new cast, so you can just jump into any season that you want to, and it was so good. I love the suspense. I'm such a, like, I used to be so hardcore into true crime and like serial killers and I just find it all very fascinating. So any show that's like a mystery, murder, solving the case type of show, like a whodunit, I am all over that. Same with books. I love a whodunit book. I absolutely loved True Detective season four. I added a new section here for songs because it used to be movies, but I haven't really watched any movies. I did watch Anyone But You. I watched that again last night. It just got on to Crave here in Canada. So I watched that last night, but I already favorited that movie. So we're gonna and skip that one. Songs. So songs, I love the new Omar Apollo song. It's called Spite. I don't know how to describe songs. I don't know. It just gives me summer vibes. I like that song. And of course, like everyone else, Espresso by Sabrina Carpenter. It's a bop. I can't deny it. It just is. So yeah, I've been listening to that as well. If anyone wants to follow some of my playlists, I am on Apple Music. I'm not a Spotify user. I'm on Apple Music. And if you are an Apple Music user, I'd love to have more friends on there. And recipes. Um, me and my boyfriend have been making this chocolate mug cake, protein mug cake. It's basically just like a full banana mashed up and then you add in a full scoop of protein powder. I have been using the chocolate Vega one just cause that was at Costco. And I added more chocolate. I added in chocolate chips, a little bit of baking powder, um, vanilla, a little bit of milk. And then you just put that into the microwave. It's like really not that many ingredients. And it comes out like this beautiful, decadent, rich chocolate cake. And then I make an icing with yogurt and cocoa powder and maple syrup and a little bit more protein powder, a little bit of almond butter. To whip that all together, make a little icing to put on the top. And then I put some raspberries on top and a little bit of the icing. It's like a decadent chocolate cake and it has so much protein. So that's been a favorite of mine for sure. Okay, let's go over to the goals section. So we will cover the April goals first and foremost. So my top three goals for April were one, I wanted to focus on my half marathon training, rest, recovery, stretching, movement, sleep, all of that. And I definitely think I did do this. Um, so I, I needed a little bit more rest and recovery in the month of April than I typically do. I had my whole eye incident where my eye was very sore. I was like lying on the couch, eyes closed for two two full days, like full 48 hours. And then it took a, probably two or three more days just to be able to like open my eye. So there was a lot of rest during that time frame. I'm obviously not running. I'm obviously not going to the gym. I have my eyes closed. So I wasn't really training during that week. And then I also got sick on the weekend. I had like a 24 hour flu. It was very weird. And then before that, I also had like a cough and like sore throat. And there was like a, a bug going around in my work. So. I basically didn't run for a full week. I forced myself to show up to the sun run. I was very sick the day before the sun run, so I thought I was gonna have to cancel it. I showed up, I ran my 10K, but I felt like I pushed my body when I shouldn't have. So I've been trying to just rest and recover. I have been focusing on the rest and recovery portion of this goal. I just haven't been getting all of my runs in. So I didn't really follow my plan, but I'm not gonna beat myself up over that because I was sick. You know, like, what can you do? I've been doing the best that I possibly can, and I've 
just been trying to take it easy, especially in these last two weeks where I'm like tapering off my distance quite a bit. Second goal was my April money goal, which was to spend less than $17.50 on expenses, little asterisks, excluding a, a couple of items. So if you want to see how I did on that, go check out my May money reset video. But I did check this one off. I did complete it and I wanted to post more shorts. And I think that this goal is kind of funny because I didn't really give a number. I didn't want to put a number on it, um, but I had a look and I think I uploaded one or two extra shorts in the month of April than I did in March. I ticked this one off. <laughs> If I wanna prioritize shorts, that means likely that I won't be able to put out two videos every week. So I just need to figure out what I want to prioritize. I just, my time is not unlimited. Additional goals, my license plate. I finally figured out my license plate. This has been a goal on my list for so long. I had a situation where in BC, you need a front license plate on your car. And when I imported my car from Alberta, I, I didn't have the holes for the license plate. So I put the license plate in the front of my dash. And I basically just think like, didn't figure it out for so long. And so I heard my friend got a ticket for the same situation. So I was like, okay, I need to, I need to figure this out. And I finally did it. I ticked it off. My goal of reading two books, I did not. That is not happening. Uh, book Euro trips, flights and accommodation maybe. So I ended up booking our flights. We haven't booked accommodation because we're still trying to figure out exactly where we want to be. But the first portion of this trip is planned. We wanted to do two date nights. I don't think we even did one intentional date night. We definitely had nights where we spent time together and we hung out and I could probably call it a date night, but they weren't planned, they weren't intentional. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give me this one. I wanted to FaceTime my family more. I don't think I FaceTimed a single person. I called some people. Ugh, I, I need to be better. I have like phone anxiety. I don't know why, even with a family, like I wanna get better with it. I wanted to spend more time outside walking and reading. So I definitely been walking outside more. I have not been reading that much outside yet, but that's just cause it hasn't been that, that warm yet. But we're working on the patio right now. And that is my new, my sanctuary for reading. I wanted to do a patio refresh. So we're actually moving this goal to May and we've already started and we are underway and it's happening and I'm so excited. I wanted to drink more water. I have definitely been a lot better with water. I've been actually even feeling a little bit thirsty. So that usually is a sign to me that I am drinking enough water is that I actually feel thirst. You think it would be the other way around, but it really isn't in my body. Okay. I wanted to be better with my supplements. I was having quite a time getting back into the habit with them after my vacation in March, but I definitely have been better with my supplements. I fell off the last like four days just cause I ran out of a couple of my supplements. And then for some reason my brain is like, oh, if you're gonna be missing a couple of them, you may as well miss all of them. But as a whole for April, I was a lot better. Let's dive into the May goals. All right, so for my May goals, for the monthly intention, I wanted to make memories. So I have lots of fun, exciting things coming up in May and lots of time with family and friends that I don't get to see often. So I really want to be present and enjoy the moment and not be worrying about costs and budgeting and all that stuff. I just wanna be living in the moment, obviously not throwing all of my good habits out the window or anything like that, but I just wanna be more present. My top three goals for May, I want to obviously run my half marathon. So that is coming up in a week. So that's at the beginning of the month. And then after that, I also want to dive straight into my next workout split. So I've made like a new plan for myself. Well, I haven't fully made it yet, but I'm going to make it. But I just want to make sure that I'm like transitioning to a new split. I think it'll be nice and exciting to do something completely new and different and to switch up what I'm doing day to day. I'm kind of craving that. I think the running has been, you know, three runs a week consistently for since January and I'm excited to just switch things up a little bit for this next season. I want to work on my Etsy products again. I took the month of April off. I wasn't feeling inspired. I wasn't feeling any calling to making Etsy products. So I do want to get back into it and I want to time block about two hours a week where I can work on Etsy. And if that means I have to go down a little bit in video quantities, then I think that's okay. And I just need to be a little bit more lenient with myself with that because I wasn't willing to compromise when I last tried to work on my Etsy stuff. I really wanted to just do everything and I just don't have the bandwidth for all of it. But I will have more time because I'm not half marathon training anymore. So I think that that's gonna help me free up a lot of time. I 
want to reduce my screen time. So I got a notification last week that my screen time was up 30% and it was like eight hours or something crazy. Mind you, I do watch YouTube videos on my phone or like I listen to YouTube videos on my phone while I'm working. Like if a podcast has a YouTube channel, I listen to the YouTube because I have YouTube premium so I can like hide the screen if I need to. But I just like it because if some, sometimes they'll be like, oh, if you can see on screen right now, I'm like, okay, well, it's right there. It's, I don't have to like switch between podcasts and YouTube. So I do have a lot of screen time dedicated to like listening to YouTube, but it was up 30%. So that's a very bad sign. And I know that I have just been like basically not reading at night and just scrolling instead. So this is something that I don't want to get away from me and I definitely want to be mindful of and work on for the future. Um, some additional goals. I forgot to announce my May financial goal in my May reset video, my budget video, but my May challenge is going to be prioritizing the patio refresh and I guess also the office refresh now. We ended up throwing in the office and when we went to Ikea. So I want to prioritize those two items as like okay to budget and spend money on those two items. And then I also want to intuitively spend. So the same way you would intuitively eat and not track all of your food and your macros and your calories and stuff like that. I want to intuitively spend where I just want to see if the habits that I've built over years of budgeting are okay when I'm not paying attention. So I think that that is a fun little challenge is to just kind of step away from the budget tracker and just see if everything is still the same, you know, same, same. I want to list clothes on Facebook Marketplace and Carrot. I did a big closet refresh in April and I've had a big folded pile of clothes that I wanna sell and I just haven't even listed them yet. So I'm gonna do that this weekend, hopefully. I want to read two books. I'm moving that goal to this month. I think once I finish this book, I can get through a couple more. Maybe we can do three books in one month because I kinda wanna do like two full books in the month. So we'll see how we get along with that one. But I do just kind of wanna take a little break from fantasy, do like a, maybe a murder mystery or something like that and then dive back in. I think I wanna do the Throne of Glass series next. That's fun and exciting. I want to do a beach picnic date night as one of the date nights. I'm, I'm gonna try my best to get these date nights going again. I have, we're just so bad at planning them and we've lived together for a while. We've, we've been dating for over six years. So it just is kind of like, it's like we have to like plan it and schedule it. And I just am bad with that. So I wanna do like a beach picnic date night. I think that would be such a fun, like cheap way to do a date night now that the weather's better. And then I also wanna do a traditional date night restaurant, the whole, sh the whole shebang, get all dressed up, do our thing. I want to get back out golfing. Last year, me and my boyfriend and then two of our friends would go golfing every single week. We would go like Tuesdays after work and just do a quick round before the sun went down. And I want to get back into that. I think the sun should be up long enough to get like close to a round in. So that's something I want to pick back up again. I want to wash and vacuum my car. It needs it very badly, preferably before my dad visits because he loves a clean car. <laughs> I want to try to find the Alex cabinet from Ikea on Facebook Marketplace. We almost bought it at Ikea and I was like, you know what, this thing's been around for years. I think we can find one on Facebook Marketplace. And I was right, there's a ton of them. I just need to set aside enough time to go like drive around the city to pick one up. I want to plan at least four weeks of content. So I've been kind of just like flying by the seat of my pants with my content a little bit. For a long time, I had like a big list of video ideas and topics I wanted to talk about. And then around middle of April, all of my ideas like ran out and I have just been kind of going with the flow. But I like having a backup video to always go with if I don't know exactly what's next. So I need to just sit down and plan out some video ideas. And if you have any recommendations and you wanna see something from me, please leave it down below. And I wanna finish planning the event that I was talking about, the surprise event for a certain somebody in my life. Um, I just need to get a little bit more organized on that and continue the planning process. And outside of that, I just wanna clean the apartment I think I'm just looking around. I just say like things that I wouldn't normally think to clean are just so dirty and everything needs a wiping. And we've been in here for like two and a half years. And I think we just need like a deep, deep clean. So I might hire somebody to help me out with that pending. Okay. Those are all of my May goals. I hope you guys enjoyed this. My next video will be my May digital plan with me. And I've already filmed that one and I'm actually really excited for it. So keep an eye out for that one. And thank you guys again for so much for joining me and for subscribing and leaving comments. I love reading all of your comments and getting to know you guys a little bit better. It's so exciting to have this little community. So bye. Just be without it. Be without it. You need someone with who to chase your dreams forever